I'd now like to introduce the Associate Director of the Koch Institute, Dr. Jackie Lees. Jackie joined me uh, as Associate Director when I became Director in 2001, and she's been a true partner in every sense from the very beginning, uh, overseeing many aspects of our strategy and our operations. Jackie is actually one of two Associate Directors. Dane Wittrip has responsibility for the engineering faculty in the Koch Institute. Jackie is an expert in the signaling pathways that determine the behavior of cancer cells. She studies these processes and model systems in mice and in zebrafish. She studies how cells grow and divide and how they metastasize in the process of cancer. Jackie is a native of, where are you a native of? Dorset, England. Educated at uh, University of York and got her PhD at the inter, uh, Imperial Cancer Research Fund, I always call it the ICRF, the Imperial Cancer Research Fund and the University of London. She was a postdoctoral fellow with Ed Harlow where she began her work on mapping the pathways involved in cancer, and she's been a wonderful colleague and a wonderful associate director, and I invite her now to come up and make her remarks. Thank you, Tyler. Like all the speakers before me, I would like to thank you all for coming together to share this launch. I was recruited to what is now known as the Koch Institute more than a decade ago. I felt extraordinarily privileged and humbled by this opportunity because this group was really the dream team of cancer scientists, constantly driving the frontiers of cancer research. Once I joined this community, I learned that a key determinant of their success was the remarkable level of innovation and collaboration that promoted the rapid spread of new technologies and new ideas. Since that time, we have continued to make groundbreaking, groundbreaking discoveries in understanding the molecular mechanisms um, that cause cancer development and metastasis. This has really greatly advanced our appreciation of the complexity of this disease and also helped us to identify potential weak points in cancer cells that perhaps could be exploited for cancer detection and treatment. As these successes grew, we became increasingly aware that we needed to find better ways to ensure that our scientific discoveries were translated into improvements in clinical care. The solution to this challenge was to expand our approach and draw on the applied expertise of the broader MIT community, particularly MIT engineers. This concept really encapsulates the mission of the Koch Institute, to bring together scientists, engineers, and also clinicians whose unique and complementary skill sets can advance both cancer discovery and cancer solutions in a synergistic manner. The creation of the Koch Institute at MIT is meaningful at many levels. For us, the Koch Institute faculty as an enabling context in which to pursue our work. For students and postdoctoral researchers, providing an unraveled opportunity to train in this assemblage of cancer-focused researchers, equipment, and ideas. For patients and their families, bringing the promise of new solutions for detecting, treating, and preventing cancer. And for humankind, a powerful step forward in the search for ways to end cancer. Our beautiful new building represents the very heart of this effort. It has allowed the co-housing of scientists and engineers in a way that builds on and has greatly deepened the collaborative interactions key to our success. Indeed, every aspect of the building is designed with the central tenant of promoting exchange of ideas every minute of every day. The new building has also enabled expansion of the Swanson Biotechnology Center. This is an unrivaled collection of core facilities that serve both cancer researchers and the larger MIT community by providing state-of-the-art equipment and the expertise of a superb staff. The building has also allowed us to recruit, uh, to recruit clinician scientists. Inspired daily by the needs of their patients, they are driving the pursuit of translational advances and leading our efforts to forge research and development partnerships with clinicians across the river and around the world. I have to thank many people for the success of this project. Like the KI scientists and engineers, each of them represent the very best in their representative fields. First, the architects Ellen Swig Associates, 
who heard and created our interaction-centric vision. Barry Construction, who brought this project in under budget and ahead of schedule. Jim Bieber and the designers of Pentagram for the extraordinary gallery spaces that allow us to share our work with the broader community. Countless peoples at the MIT facility department who made the planning and construction of this complex building nearly seamless. The Koch Institute administrative staff who are critical for the success of both the building planning and our move and occupation. Judy and Erica Swanson, Charles B. and Ann Johnson, the Koch Institute Leadership Council and many other for their support of the Swanson Biotechnology Center, the Center for Nanotechnology Science, the galleries and many other aspects of the Koch Institute. And most importantly, David Koch for both his financial support of the project and his active participation in all stages of the building process and more broadly in the ongoing life and success of the Koch Institute. Finally, on behalf of the Koch faculty, I would like to thank our director, Tyler Jacks, and our MIT president, Susan Hockfield, for their vision in conceiving and creating the Koch Institute. We're really awed by both your uh, leadership and guidance in this effort. I believe that the Koch Institute exemplifies the culture of excellence and innovation that is the very essence of MIT. As an example of the interdisciplinary nature of the Koch Institute, I want to share a video clip from the MIT 150 documentary that highlights the work of one of my colleagues, Paula Hammond. And in closing, I again want to thank every one of you for being so supportive of our work. Together, we really are conquering cancer. Thank you.